Hey guys, this is Allie with Tip B, and today we're going to look at how to subscribe to iTunes Match and how to add computers and uh, kind of how to manage it all around. Um, we know that servers are getting slammed, but when this does come back up, you should have these options. It's important to keep in mind that you need to be on iTunes 10.5.1 or you won't have the little iTunes Match option you have over here. Um, basically, once you have 10.5.1, there's a couple ways to do this. The way I initially did is, is I had to go over here to Quick Links down to iTunes Match, and it basically took me to a page to subscribe. Um, now it's over here in my sidebar. I don't know why it wasn't there before, but if it's not there for you, you can also alternately go over here to Quick Links and click on iTunes Match right over here. Um, but we're going to go over here under store and we have a new tab for iTunes Match. When you are originally not subscribed, instead of getting this screen, you're going to get one that asks you if you want to subscribe for $24.99. When you click yes, which will be where this add this computer button is, um, it'll bill you $24.99. It'll ask you for your iTunes password. Um, basically, once you do that, you'll need to go back into here and add your computer so then it can start aggregating your iTunes library. So, I have not added this computer yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to ask me for my password. And I'm going to click Add This Computer. So, basically, what this is going to do is it's going to go through and... Um, match all my stuff with stuff on the iTunes store, etc. And then um, I should be able to access that from devices. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to jump over to, I'm going to let this do its thing, and then I'm going to jump over to my Apple TV, and we're going to see how this works. So let's jump over to the Apple TV. All right, so now that we've activated it in iTunes, uh, you can see that my music library on my computer is still going here. Um, this is a painstakingly long process, apparently. Uh, kind of expected that, but I don't have that much music on my MacBook Pro. Most of it's on my iMac, and I did this one just so it would load quicker. Um, I did sign into um, iTunes Match on my Apple TV here. Um, one thing you'll need to make sure of is that you're on the newest firmware version. Uh, same thing for iTunes 10.5.1. I don't remember what this version is. We'll look real quick. Um, about, it looks like 4.4.1 is what you need to be on. Um, on the main menu, you're going to see a new tab here for music. Uh, I've already signed in. The first time, it'll say, um, turn on uh, iTunes Match, so you'll just need to do that. Uh, after you've done that, when you go into your iCloud library, uh, everything should be in here. And it appears that most stuff is... Um, it's still only showing me that about half of my library is imported, so I think this just takes a while, but um, as you can see, pretty much everything's in here, so if we go into any one of these, um, and let's just select a song here to see how quickly this plays. You can see it looks like some of these are grayed out, so I'm assuming that's stuff that has not been imported yet. So, looks like it's still doing its thing. It's been going for about an hour now, so I would say uh, if you have a large library, uh, it's probably something you're going to want to do overnight or just let it sit and import your library, but uh, that is iTunes Match.